Hello everyone, welcome again. In uh, this video, I'm going to continue that uh, problem solving series. And uh, I think we've done this problem, write a Java program with the fetch a middle character from the string. The next problem is this write a Java program to check character in a string. Write a Java program to check character in a string. So let's check the constraints or what are the constraints are there. Write a program to read a string and uh, to test whether the first and last character is the same is same the string is said to be valid if the first and last two character are same else the string is said to be invalid so let's check what is the input uh, input is like the picture was great so the first character of that string is t and the last character of that string is t so it's a valid string if you check the other input this t h i s so first character of the string is t and the last character of the string is s so it's invalid so how to do that as a programmatically let's do yeah it's my previous program i'm going to remove this and uh, i think this i need okay by this code we just create a object of a scanner class and take an input uh, by the sc next line by the user and now we have a string in as variable right now we can do this thing by a string organizer or i think we can do it directly well so first i'm going to take a way to try by direct or if it will not success we will do it by string organizer class is there there is a lots of methods in a string organizer we can uh, take a tokens different different tokens of the string so the first character if i want to that is string like I can directly do that as dot character at character at zero dot, uh, first time I'm gonna try by this <clears throat> okay I hope it will work simply like I'm just going to check a uh, uh, string as dot character it so friends character it is a method uh, for to check the position of the character like i want to check the character at the zeroth position zeroth position character will be what will be the character for the string and equals to s dot character at last position so last position should be s dot length length minus one minus one for why minus one is why why because uh, it's a starting the character start from zero so it's uh, take the lastest last character at length dot minus one okay so this condition if will true then simply you can say system dot out dot print and uh, it can say valid valid else same system dot out dot print it's invalid invalid so this I'm going to save it and check this is invalid and the another constraint is the another input is this picture was great here yeah. this is valid or more test case like lol it's valid so uh, by this it's very simple and you can do that by on and uh, the Another in that code in this post I use the another method I use the testing tokenizer in proper way so you can use this also so I'm gonna show you the output of this also how it will work so just copy this code I'm gonna just copy this and uh, I'm gonna change it the best right and uh, it checks on a string so it's showing me where it now. Okay, there is one problem. I think there is a validation either earlier. If uh, we will check this, uh, like uh, this picture was great, and the output is output will be valid. Why? Because we are uh, taking using a string tokenizer, and it will uh, break that string in a token. So it will check uh, the first string first character and last string last character. So if there is a single character string, so this code this code not will work. I think this. So it's invalid if i type something lol is like 
it's also not worked send valid so the previous code was good and you can use that code and if you want in a, in a long string so you can use simply this code uh, this code was only for that you can understand what is the string tokenizer and how we can use the string tokenizer so thank you so much guys for like uh, for uh, watching this video and uh, i hope you are learning well and if you like please subscribe this channel and uh, give me a uh, like and share with your friends and if you have any problem any technical problem any technical uh, problem which you want to convert in a code and if you want to share with me so please share and comment i will try to solve it if i have any problem i will share with you thank you